You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Wonderful day in the neighborhood, and nobody can deny it. Welcome to Mr. Pop's neighborhood, and when everything in our hood good in our hood. How y'all doing today? Good. Guess what our subject will be for today? What? Three principles when it comes to bullying. Y'all ready? Yes. Identify. Identify. Notify. Notify. notify and the teacher will rectify. And the teacher will rectify. And we, we don't, don't take, take matters, matters in our own hands. Y'all understand that? Yes. Let's do it one more time then. Identify, notify, and the teacher will rectify when we don't matter in our own hands. Do you know why we say notify? Why? That is to inform the teacher, and the teacher will, what? We identify the problem first, right? Yes. Identify who the bully is, right? Yes. Then we notify the teacher, right? Yes. And the teacher will rectify the problem, right? Yes. The reason why we don't take matters in our own hand, because a lot of times that makes matters worse. Y'all understand that? Yes. Bullying is a problem. And nobody needs to be bullied on, right? Yes. But I'm going to show y'all the different aspect of bullying, all right? Yes. You have verbal bullying and you have silent bullying. Verbal bullying is when you insult people, insult people verbally. And don't nobody deserve to be insulted, right? No. That's name calling, talking about what a person, how a person look, talking about what they have on. What silent bullying is, say, facial expression. Facial expression. Anytime a person is uncomfortable in your presence, say, that's bullying. That's, that's bullying. bullying. Say, intimidation. Intimidation. Nobody has the right to be intimidated in your presence. Am I correct? Yes. yes. It's not nice to intimidate anybody, right? No. Because a person feels uncomfortable, correct? Yes. We don't want nobody to feel uncomfortable in Mr. Pop's neighborhood, right? Yes. And also we're going to talk about accepting authority. Can y'all repeat that? Accepting authority. From adults. From adults. Teachers. Teachers. And anybody that's in authority. And anybody who's in authority. Because we are young kids. Because we are young kids. And we have to listen to adults. And we have to listen to adults. So we can better our lives, right? Because we can better our lives. Who wants to explain the first one about identify? Identify is, identify is when you see someone else being bullied and you don't laugh at them or you don't, you don't pick at them back. You go tell the teacher, which means teacher will rectify and let them handle it. Let's give her a hand, y'all. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. To identify is when you're in the classroom and you see an individual constantly bullying on somebody. Now, you identify that bully because you're aware that person is a bully, whether it's a boy or a girl. You see the same person always picking on somebody. Now, you identify that person as a bully, right? Yes. Then you notify the person in authority. The person in authority is your teacher, counselor, principal, or an adult. You, I, you understand me? Yes. You identify, then you notify the person in authority and let them rectify the problem because if you take matters in your own hand, it makes the problem more worse because now it gets out of hand and it gets uncontrollable. You understand that? Yes. And see, always remember to say snitching. 
snitching. Say, there's no such thing as snitching. There's no such thing as snitching. Say, Mr. Pop, why do you say there's no such thing as snitching? Mr. Pop, why you say there's no such thing as snitching? Listen to this. If you all identified a bully and you notify the teacher and the teacher rectify it, that's dealing with the situation. But if you don't identify the bully, if you don't notify the teacher, after school, one of your friends get hurt real, real bad and get put in ICU. Say ICU. ICU. That means intensive care unit. Now, if you notify the teacher and make them aware that's a bully, you can prevent that person from being hurt. That's not snitching. Anytime you prevent somebody from getting hurt, harmed, or bullied on, that's not snitching. So we're going to always, always notify the teacher that there's a bully present so the teacher can identify, the teacher, the teacher can handle the matter before it gets worse, right? Yes. And everybody in here is mature enough to do that, correct? Yes. yes. Do anybody want to see any of their friends or anybody you know get hurt? No. So you're going to what? Identify. Identify. Notify. notify, notify and and teacher teacher rectify, which don't is taking matters in our own hands. You don't take matters in your own hands. Don't take matters in your own hands. Because it makes matters worse, right? Yes. Now, each and every one of y'all in the third grade, what do you plan to do with your future? What do you plan to do when you get older? Um, what do you plan to do with your life, Lexi? I will plan to be a nurse. A nurse? Yes. Why do you like to be a nurse? So I can take care of the people that are sick or have pain. Wow, did y'all hear that? Yes. yes. Now, Lexia. Yes. Lexia. Yes. Immediately start finding material, books you can read on nursing, right? Yes. So you'd be already familiar with it. Okay. Okay? Yes. Who's next? I would like to be a doctor so I can help like people like with cures and sicknesses. I would like to be a scientist so I can find cures to, to beat cancer and any other bad diseases that has been spread across the world, the United States, um, effectively. Each and every one of y'all pick a beautiful career. And I'm so proud of you all, because guess what? You are already going to decide what you want to be in life. So guess what now? The most important thing now is to do is what? Follow up on it. Follow your dream. Be determined. You understand that? Yes. Don't give up on your dream. That's a dream, but you're about to turn it into reality. You understand that? Yes. And I notice each and every one of y'all says something that has to do with helping others. Do you know it shows that y'all have a caring heart? Do y'all understand it? Yes. Every field y'all pick out, every career y'all picked out is concerning helping others. So that lets me know that you are not selfish. You understand that? Yes. Y'all believe in helping others, right? Yes. yes. We, need that, we need more of that in the world, don't we? Yes. Now guess what? What? Do you all know that y'all can encourage each other? Do you know that all y'all fields in y'all careers are associated with each other? Yes. yes. So guess what? You are going to run across each other's path in your life. And you know what you're going to say? They went to school with me. She went to school with me. He went to school with me. We were in elementary school together. Now we're following our dream. Now we're walking in our careers. We're going to help each other. How that sound? Good. I'm proud of you all because you know what? When I was your age, guess what? But guess what? Yeah. Guess what? I didn't have a dream. I didn't make no good decisions like you all making. I wanted to show rebellious behavior, be disobedient, not listen to my teachers, not listen to my parents, not listening to adults in the community. That's why I'm in the predicament that I am now. But I am so proud to be in your presence to see that you all wasn't thinking on the level I was thinking. Y'all thinking about careers in your life, helping others, and to better your lives. I should have been thinking the same way. But you know what? I have nobody to blame but myself because there were people in my lives, like I'm a part of y'all lives, that was trying to show me the right way, but I was determined not to hear from them. Can I show y'all something? Yes. 
What do you see? A lion across the head. A scar too? Yes. yes. How many holes in my neck? Two. 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 Oh, yeah, two. What do you see right here? A hole, a, a dent? dent? Yeah. Guess what? I was poisoning people. Now say, Pop, what is poison? What is What's poison? poisoning? I was selling drugs. Say terrorists. Terrorists. I was a terrorist in my own community. Anytime you destroy the community, you destroy people. And that's what I was doing. And you see what the end results is? Now I travel all over the United States to talk to young people, to let young people know that there is self-destruction and that they should make better decisions about their life and what they want to be in life. And you know what? The 9mm pistol shot me. I was shot in the temple. Say fragments. 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 Y'all know bullets have fragments? Yes. 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 Small piece of fragments scattered my skull. The doctors had to take my body and lay it in an angle on the bed, put a small TV monitor up on the wall. They took a handsaw and they saw my temple from temple to temple. They peeled my scalp back and the doctors had to take a needle this long with bright colored different dye in the needle. And when they laid me on the table in the angle, they put the needle up under my spine to push the dye through my body, and they looked up on the TV monitor to see where the holes was at. So wherever the dye came out the holes, that's where they had to seal up, stitch me back up, and put my scalp together. That's why you see the stitches from temple to temple. While I was in a coma, I had a trach. Say trach. 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 I had a trach, a large and medium, connected to my lungs to help me breathe while I was in a coma. But you know what, boys and girls? I have nobody to blame but myself. Because you know what? When you make decisions, consequences come. You understand it? Yes. Say choices and consequences. Choices and consequences. I made a choice on what I wanted to do with my life, and these are the consequences. I made a choice of what I did in my life, and now these are the consequences. You see what this is? Yes. yes. Can I show you something? Yes. yes. This is a cane. This cane helps me be independent. You know, before I lost my sight, I was able to get up, walk anywhere I wanted to go. Now, I have to rely on this cane when I'm in unfamiliar areas because this cane lets me know a curb is near me, it lets me know a fire hydrant is near me. It lets me know I'm, front of step. I'm in front of steps. I had to learn to walk all over again with a mobility instructor with this cane to help me be independent. But guess what? Why? I brought it on myself again, right? Yes. I had an opportunity to be able to walk freely on my own without this cane. But what I did? You stopped dropping. I did wrong things, right? Yes. And these are the consequences to my choices I made, correct? Yes. But guess what? You all just sat here and told me the choices you all made. So now guess what? What? You all going to get positive results because not neither one of y'all said anything negative about what y'all want to do with your life. And you got some young kids, when I ask them what they want to be in life, you know what some of them tell me? They want to be a hustler. They want to sell drugs. Some kids say they want to play football. Some say they want to play basketball. Some say they want to play baseball. Some say they want to be a scientist like you all. Some say they want to be a doctor. Some say they want to be a nurse, a policeman. But the ones who say to me they want to be a hustler, they want to be a drug addict, guess what? What? They are being influenced by relatives, neighborhood, sometimes mom and dad. Kids try to be a product of who they're involved with. And those are the kids 
who I try to reach to help them try to make better decisions by saying, what you see is temporary pleasure. All the kids do is see the nice cars, the clothes, the jewelry. You understand that? Yes. I, I don't try to kill a kid's dream by saying, you can't have a nice car, you can't have nice clothes, you can't have a nice home. I don't kill kids' dream by saying they can't have that. But what I try to tell them is, it's how you obtain it. Say obtain it. Obtain it. It's how you get it. If you work an honest job, you understand that, right? Yes. Get an honest paycheck, you're entitled to buy yourself nice clothes, nice car, nice home. That's the whole purpose of working an honest job, to buy nice things, right? Yes. But you don't obtain it by hurting somebody else to get what you want. Say temporary pleasure. Temporary pleasure. Because all it is is temporary pleasure. You be looking like you're living good today, and you can be dead tomorrow, paralyzed tomorrow, blind tomorrow, in a cemetery tomorrow, or in prison for the rest of your life. But the decisions you all made as young people, y'all not going in that direction, are you all? No. I'm so proud of y'all. I want you to know that. I'm so proud of y'all. And guess what? Y'all going to be encouraging. Y'all are young role models to other kids. You understand that? Yes. Because y'all made a decision at an early age. Say ahead of the game. Ahead, ahead of the game. game. Say, Mr. Pop, we're ahead of the game. Mr. Pop, we're ahead of the game. Guess why you're ahead of the game? Why? Because you are already in the third grade made a decision what you want to be later on in life. So all you got to do now is what? Ready? Say, obtain, obtain, maintain, maintain, and sustain. And sustain. And guess what? What? You all can do it because you already done made the biggest decision. You done made up your mind what you want to be. You all understand that? Yes. That's the most important part, to already know what you want to be. Now you just got to be, you have to strive for it. Say persevere. Persevere. Persevere means to stick at something you want to do regardless. So it's positive? Positive, yes. But persevere means to be determined, to stick at what you want to do, and that means you're not going to let nothing stop you. Let me give you an example about persevere, okay? You all made a decision what you want to be in life, right? Yes. Okay. If you go to school that morning and you happen to go in the library and you ask the librarian, you say, I want to see a book on law enforcement. You say, I want to see a book on nursing. You say, I want to see a book on scientists. And then they hand you a book. You say, can I take this home? Can I sign this book out and bring it back tomorrow? Watch the persevere now. The librarian says, sure you can. You take it home. As you begin to read that book and study that book, your mom, somebody knocks at the door, and your mom say, your little friend coming to see you. And you go up to that friend, you say, you know what? I don't want to go out today. I got a book from the library that I want to study on my career, so I'm not going to go out today. And they're going to say, oh, you're a square. You don't want to go out? Why not? You don't want to hang out today. And you're going to, positive choices, that's right. And you're going to say, no, I got to stick to this no matter what. And I'll see you all maybe next week, or I may see you all tomorrow, but I'm not going to be able to hang out with you all today. I want to thank you all for coming today. Each and every one of you all have gave some positive feedback, and I'm going to give you all something on hand. Go ahead. Yo, Ruger. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruger Belly. Off of W. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books. Kids, put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short Till I met this mentor named Pop up the juvenile court He sat me down, he started when he was eight When he was the class clown Yup, and then he started telling me That he must confess when he was eight It was called DCYF He told me that how to be at my best Now that I'm up in DCF He told me don't get involved up in gang turf 
until I met the bricks that you work and they miss the duck work. He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase. Yeah, and then I met this great working named Sabrina Dougie Hayes. Then Pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson, the supervisor. Give him a lobster for appetizer. Yeah, the first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends. Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen. When I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhymes. My friend was a pad in the pen. I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation. Finishing school will be my great celebration. Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said, young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Ruga Belly, Papa Dot Records. You already know what it is. What up, J-Bug? I see you. Much love. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dreams. Achieve the goals, achieve the goals. And relate to me, and relate to me. I do this for the kids. So finish school and pump your mind full of knowledge like you're in the tube and graduate and go to college what I'm giving you. Streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too. Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pocket, streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated, young and very bravest do something with your life i know you can make it your brain and memory card i know you can save it i just want to say big ups to my cousin david we a powerful movement we the world's greatest we a powerful movement young people go to school go to school follow your dream follow your dream achieve your goals achieve your goals and relate to me and relate to young people go to school go to school Follow your dream, follow your dream, the cheer the code, the cheer the code, and relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruka Valley, it's best to leave for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. Show you what we came to do, all for W, music you could listen to. So everybody rock with us, show you what we came to do. Came to take it over, now we entertaining you. You are now entertained, ready for whatever came to wake up your brain. My flow so insane, every time I spit, money on my mind, but to leave, I'ma get a little bit of shine in the all way fit it. My team stands tall, why you looking like a midget? I don't think you get it, I don't think you get it. Hold up. Watch the crowd go wild when I roll up. Ruka Valley cash you, so I go nuts. Every time I spit, you know us. Every time I spit, so everybody know us. You like to talk about guns and little homies, so what? Hug a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Hug a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W. Music you could listen to, so everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W, music you could listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Rugavel is the Ellis rap. Stop all the bullying in the gay violence and chit and chat. Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you could listen to. Hear it in your ear, I spit balls, I'm the sickest dude. Catch me on the avenue, yeah. But really trying to stop the violence. Trying to get the education so you can get knowledge. Go to the college and do it right. Cause the flow is so sick. 
and I rap all day and night. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for a W. Music you can listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for a W. Music you can listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Yeah. Google Val, all for W, ready for whatever, you dig?